Welcome back, everybody. We are playing some more Dredge. In the last episode, I finished this area, I think. I uh, turned on the alarm at the research center that's over here, and it scared away this big old monster that's in the ocean. See, he's not here now. But I don't want to be over there just in case he decides to come back. But yeah. I went fishing and got a new relic out of the center of that and I think it's time to go turn it into the evil guy on the Blackstone Island. Let me see, I need to teleport and here we go! Alright, see what he's got to say. Blackstone Isle. Ruined Mansion. You walk in and place the jewel-encrusted ring on a table by the collector. His eyes widen. Ah, we're certainly making excellent progress now. And I know what you're thinking. An item like this would fetch a fortune at, at any auction. But for us, its value transcends material wealth. Regardless, you are due a reward. Ya darn right I am. He opens the crimson book, its spine cracking audibly. Selecting a page carefully, he begins to read aloud. The words sound muffled, as though he's speaking through a thick haze. The ability is unlock, banish, fire off a blazing light that dispels and protects. So like if a monster's coming from me, I can protect myself? You hear a growling crackling in your ears. Suddenly, vision flares and both your ears pop. He closes the book. We must keep searching. I've been thinking more on where we might find another. I can imagine all manner of detritus swallowed by the silty muck of Twisted Strand's channels. It's worth investigating. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? Uh, what will you do once you have the relics? He ponders for a moment. Hmm. It's surprising, isn't it? The attachments we hold towards simple objects. But they are anything but simple. Seemingly mute articles can speak in different ways. If I showed you a childhood toy, you would awash with forgotten memories. They hold the power to recall what was once lost. Anything else? What do you know about the mayor? That stuttering old fool. Yes, I knew him. He'd join us on the water sometimes, but was more hindrance than help. He never seemed entirely with it. I can't imagine he fared too well since I last saw him. Anything else? Nope, that's it. Uh, Undock. Let's go to town. What is this? Banish. This banishing words can dispel some most evil. I gotta go get my crab pots. Na 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 boat man! Okay. Okay. <clears throat> the lighthouse keeper approaches you on the dock, wearing a questionable, questioning expression. <sighs> you must have been around most of the islands by now. Have you found whatever it is you're looking for? Uh, I'm not sure. Her face softens. Remember that you are in control. If you're having doubts, it's foolish to blindly persevere. You can always look for alternate paths. She turns from you, shaking her head and muttering. She heads back towards the lighthouse. She's such a nice old lady. I hate her. She's so mean to me. Um, storage. 
I don't have cloth and I don't have refined metal. Oh, the merchant was selling refined metal in the last, in the, the, the coral reef place I was just in. I didn't mean to click that one. I'm going to click that one. <clears throat> She's not selling refined metal. Jerk. But she's selling this big old motor. This 36. Already got one. But, uh. Do I want to keep that? I think I'm going to keep that. So I can do Coastal Shallow. Abyssal Hadal. Abyssal. I don't need this anymore. storage I guess I'll just <clears throat> put on um I'll, I'll put this one back on uh, put that back on I think that'll help me when I'm um, fishing out in normal seas I don't have nothing to sell to fishmonger I need to rest and then I'm gonna go get my crab pots End up. I gotta remember to let go of the boost button because I'm constantly blowing up my boat. Wait, where am I going? I'm heading in the wrong direction. Which is this? Iron Haven Crate. Interesting. Oh, look at her little house up here. I don't think I ever paid attention to it. Does she have anything new for me? Hey, thanks for me helping me move out here. I've managed to get myself set up now. I found this while I was unpacking. You should take it. The engineer's companion. Oh, the researcher gave me a book too. Got it. Uh, cabin. The engineer's companion and a plan for the future. I'm going to read the one the researcher gave me first. Ow. I can't believe I went the wrong way. I hear something. Is it dolphins? Oh, it is dolphins. Hey, bro, dolphins. I always have to stop and admire the sea life. All right, my crab pots are this way. <gasps> now that I got that new rod, I can go back in that cave behind the waterfall. It. Uh, take off. Pick up. Well, that didn't give me nothing that I wanted. That didn't either. Uh, I'm just gonna need to go sell. There's crabs. I got crabs. I got so much crab. Seeing the monster was gonna come around the corner. Oh. I love the sound of rain against the roof of my cabin. Was there rain in the game before? Or is the rain new? I don't know what that's for. So. I need to get that repaired. Uh, 
I'll repair all of them at the same time. Go get the other ones. Pick up. Um, uh, where's the? Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Pick up. All right. So I got this splintered crab. I think that is one that I needed to give to the painter. So we are going to manifest and drive over here to the painter. Okay, let's see. Did I get the crab that you need? Painter? Uh, um, it don't matter. I'm just trying to deposit a paint color. Is it orange? Yes, it's orange. So I need the brain crab. Hmm? What I need now. I'm going to have an orange boat. I'm going to have an orange boat. Oh, and I got to get all my stuff out of storage that I can. Dang. Uh, let's see if I can fit a, a, as much as possible so I can go sell stuff to the trader. Does he want the sex thing? Hmm. I do not know. Ah. Ah. Sell all trinkets. 192. Wasn't a whole lot, but they were all small trinkets. Now let's go over here. And I need to repair my stuff. I need to repair. Please don't yell at me for breaking things. I apologize. Man, 119. That wasn't a lot. Repair all. All right. need to get the brain crab now can I make it there before dark la 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 crab pot Boink. uh put one there right there and right there Now I need to go to the back side of this island to where the waterfall is. I'm coming, waterfall. You son of a gun. Yeah. I saw something that I want to get. Where's this waterfall? It ain't coming in here. Ha ha! Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Dying this thing's long. That's what she said. Uh, wow. Poor fish. I wonder if you can get a, um, aberrated or fish.
I think that's the last secret or the last thing I needed to do in this territory other than get the big brained crab. Didn't I see cloth earlier I needed to fish up? I needed the cloth. I felt my controller vibrate. That usually means the sea monster's coming for me. I don't currently see it. I hear it though. Oh, I hear it. There it is. Stop making my controller vibrate. I need this cloth. Thank you. It's getting dark. game gets scary at night. I forgot how scary it gets. <laughs> um, storage. No, not storage. Uh, this right here. Dang, I didn't get enough. Did I deplete that spot? I think I did. Almost there. I'm about to check these crab pots and then I'm going to go see if I can find that ice place. Uh, that's a trophy one, but I guess I'll take them. And I'll sell them and then go find the ice cubes. But none of them are aberrated and I only care about aberrated. Let's go find that ice place. <clears throat> I'm going to guess it's this way. Maybe I should bring up a map just to confirm. I don't want to sell off into nothing. Yep. It's this way. What is this? What is this? Barrel eye? Oh, it's a ghost fish. A spook fish. It's a spook fish. Watch out the nuts. You'll understand. Going this way. All right, I'll, I'll worry about that later. It's starting to get late, and I don't even see ice yet. Oh, I see something there. Why is it so long to get here? I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like being over the dark ocean. 
you know, I've gone on a couple cruises. Being over water where you can't see anything below you is the worst. For this ice, I don't have the, I don't have an ice fishing rod. Not tornadoes. Stop. I gotta find somewhere to dock. That looks like a docking place. I don't like that sound. Yes, a docking place. Good, good. Save me. Down here to investigate the ice field too? It seems to have peered out of nowhere. My best guess is that it drifted up from the south. Either way, I thought I should set up a pontoon here, but when I went to stake my claim, I noticed some old equipment on the ice. Mm. Come and check it out when you get a second. In the meantime, I've got some new rods for sale. They'll be perfect for fishing in the ice around here. That's what I need. That's what I need. Let me get that new ice. No. What do I need to click? Mm. Shipyard. Need that new ice rod. Ice and ice and oceanic. Well, I don't like the way this one's shaped. I guess I'm gonna go with this one. Which means I gotta put this one in storage. So that's ice and oceanic. So hopefully I don't need to like fish for shallow or anything down around here. An ice trawl. I might need to get this. Put that fathomless wrench, winch, in storage. A new light? I can't get it because it requires a three space and I can only hold two. Oh man. I can almost get refined metal. All right, I need to sell those fishies. 53. Did that give me enough to get refined metal? Mm. Wrong button. No. No. Oh well, icy work site. The traveling merchant has crossed over to the nearby iceberg and is inspecting some old piece of metal. Mm. You approach. It's so weird. This stuff seems old, like really old. She kicks a large sheet of metal, half embedded in the ice. A thin layer of snow dislodges, revealing lines of rivet holes. Huh. And come in here, look. You follow her into a small makeshift shelter ruined by years of harsh weather inside of some schematics nailed to a table. Oh, I, did, I just went one sentence to the other without using the period. Still barely legible. Hmm. See how they angled these sheets? And the lining of the metal around the bow? Bow? Whoever was here, I think they were constructing an icebreaker. Hmm. Could you make another? Probably. But ah, uh, let me see. She trudges outside again and paces out the length of the metal scraps in the uh. ice. We've got most of the basic materials here already. But of course we're missing the crucial pieces. Mm. An ice bracer needs specially tempered angled metal, as well as components designed to minimize the impact to your hull. Oh. I can't uh, see any of those here, but whoever left this stuff here, maybe they left other pieces elsewhere. Or maybe you'll be able to find their old ship and salvage the icebreaker they've already built. That would be convenient. Anyway, mm. to build a new icebreaker, these are the parts we'll need. Okay. So I guess I'll find those randomly throughout this territory. 
I'm gonna sleep a little bit because it is scary. Um, I need to put up my trowel. My trowel. Why'd the music just get so spooky? What do I need? Haste? Do I have that? Nope. I thought I was going to be able to use my dynamite there, but I can't. What kind of new fishies? Ice fish. Trophy ice fish. Ew! Thawed ice fish? That looks terrible. Alright, we've seen the ice fish. Let's go see what else we can find. I don't like all those ice breaking noises. Wait, that wasn't the ice fish. Whoa! Okay, I wasn't paying attention. That's no! Hello! Toothfish. Lifted from the deep. Catch 250 fish. Catch a lot of fish in this game, bro. No, I didn't mean to do that. I don't want more ice fish. There's a little boat. Little boat, little boat, little boat. Hmm. Oh, it's the photographer lady. I saw her before. Fisherman, I didn't expect you to see you this far south. Well, this is a fortunate turn of events. There's a narwhal somewhere in this ice field. I couldn't get any further in, so I've been trying to take a picture from here with no luck. I tried placing some scraps of fish on that ice sheet over there to entice it, but it, I didn't have enough to hold its attention for long. I only caught a glimpse. I don't suppose you have any fish you'd prepare to donate to a pursuit of wildlife photography? Fill the space entirely with any fish you like. I can't imagine the narwhal is too picky. I want to see a narwhal. That would be pretty wicked. So I have to fill this space complete. That's what she said. I'm not giving up my fancy spooky fish. Unless I absolutely have to. Alright, I absolutely have to. Fine. That's perfect. Now cut your engines. We need to wait in complete silence. Oh. It's really dark now. Shh! I think I hear something under the ice. That's not a narwhal. That's got a glowing horn. And it's got hands. What on earth is that thing? I'm not sticking around to find out. Feeding time, feed the narwhal. That wasn't a narwhal. That had arms and hands. Uh, wasn't a narwhal. You know what? Peace out, Girl Scout. I'll come back later when I can see where I'm going. I don't want that big old narwhal trying to j jump on my boat. I don't want that happening. Can you please dock? Can you please dock? Whoa, stargazer species data added to encyclopedia. Oh, that thing looks wicked, bro. I have to go back to where I was.
tornado. Fish? Don't want that. What is this, a bottle? Nope, it's a piece of the thing. This place sounds creepy as heck. It looks like there's like frozen stuff up in there and not ice. Oh, there's a frozen man! A cold wind whistles through the doorway of the only cabin still standing. Behind it, a frozen over dig site is littered with tools and debris. You entered the small cabin. The door long since fallen from its hinges. A rotting table sits inside. A crudely drawn map of the area has been charted onto a scrap of paper. You attach it to your own map. So now I got a map of the area. A large book sits on the table as it's well worn from the passage of time. You can still read the words, Captain's Log, etched into the cover. You open the book. It's frozen spine cracking for the first time in decades. Which entry do you read? I guess we'll go in order. Arrived at the floating sea ice amidst a particularly thick fog, a few channels could be seen leading into the ice, though sizable chunks floating in our way, posing a hazard. I have ordered us to moor against the outer ice wall while the engineers make adjustments to prepare the vessel. Which entry do you want to read? The vessel was pursued by a particularly aggressive narwhal. Some men placed fish on the ice nearby in an effort to distract it. It appeared to work, though only for a time. It resurfaced and needed satiating repeatedly. So you spoiled it. Now it wants to be fed constantly. Good job, guys. But that wasn't no narwhal. If we can't find a more permanent solution to the beast, we'll have to make sure to keep enough fish on hand to placate it. You can't play Kate the monster. Eminem reference. Which entry do you want to read? As I lay falling asleep, the most almighty voice spoke unto me. It resounded from the thick ice below. At once, both powerful and ethereal. There was no mistaking this as a trick of the wind, nor a jest by the crew. It did not pause for response or acknowledgement, but whispered a cryptic prophecy. At first, I could not make sense of it. Three listeners shall hear the heart, and that I should indulge these listeners. It spoke of boundless wealth from the stars, and of eyes opening unto the world. The rest of my sleep was feverish, as my mind was plagued with the sound of the voice. It spun in my head echoing ever louder in the morning the boatswain and the navigator came to me separately claiming to have heard a sound like a heartbeat as the men were digging yesterday they indicated a desire to explore the eastern and western reaches of the ice field i shall indulge them all right he's listening to the voice the captain is listening to the voice all right ice shard Light pierces through the ice, intensifying and concentrating into a glow in the center. A dark form takes shape against the light. Place ear to the ice. A distorted voice echoes from within. Don't disturb the ice. Who are you? Captain, the expedition chart the ice field appeared suddenly through the ice. What happened? It whispered, promised, stones from the stars. It knew three would hear the heart beneath the ice. The voice grows louder. It commanded three listeners, three sacrifices, or three eyes. I obeyed, but a fourth now sees forever futile. The shadow is silent for a time. Slumbering still should leave. It sees you 
before it whispers. I don't have a way to break the ice. Do not risk breaking its senses through the ice, through the shadows. Yeah, see, I gotta have an ice pick. I don't have an ice pick. Okay. Undock. Why would you want to release a man who is frozen in ice who is supposed to be dead? That just sounds like a terrible idea. Is this wood? I hear heartbeats in my ears! There are too many little ice rocks. Where do I need to go? He said that they needed to explore to the west and to the east. Well, I can't go that way. Let's try this other direction. I hear heartbeats! I don't have any fish. Maybe I need to get the monster narwhal thing to break that. I want to know what is crying. What is, what is that noise? I know it ain't no bird. Is that a bird? What? Fractile ice fish? Fractaline ice fish? That's weird. Do I now have enough fish? Do I have enough fish? Go fish! Leaving fish here would attract the narwhal. The monster narwhal. Crack the line fish. I don't like the sounds. I don't like the sounds. I'm gonna need one more, one more of these fishies. Skirt, skirt. Where? Oh, there's something golden over here. Oh, I don't think I can get to it. You coming for me? Oh man, I broke my engine. Where's that place I was docked at? There it is. Doc. Real quick. All right, I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> that narwhal thing was chasing me, man. All right. Let's go deposit this last piece of fish. Okay, I forgot about the trawl. No more fish will fit on the pile. Dang! Thanks! When you're not trying to kill me, you're pretty cool. That should keep it satisfied for at least a little while. Alright, so what was this? Astral ice fish? That's cool. 
see what's in here. Looks like there's a bottle. Nope, that's another piece of the thing. I don't like being that close to the tornado. Whoa! That's a big old hand! Is that the daddy narwhal? There's a little, that little narwhal that's chasing me around. Is that just the baby to that big old thing? What is this? Whoa. All right, let's dock at this thing. I saw a dock here. I hope there's a pickaxe here. You dock against a small platform of ice formed around a gigantic clawed hand. You are not the first to find this place. Remnants of a long abandoned camp litter the ice. Frozen equipment? You rummage through a small pile of equipment in the snow. Most items are stuck fast in the ice, but inside the small backpack, you find an old journal. Which entry do you want to read? Oh, I'm so tired of reading. That's why I listen to audiobooks. Ugh. Captain ordered us to make camp on the ice in the center of the lagoon. After we saw those lights in the ice, everyone's got treasure on their minds. Treasure hunting isn't exactly what the expedition was commissioned for. But given the captain gets the lion's share of whatever we find, it doesn't surprise me that he's willing to bend the rules a bit. We'll start digging after the camp's done. Interesting. Spent the day digging in the ice. Shovels and ice picks. Can't remember the last time I was this tired. We are only allowed to two short breaks a day. Down in the pit. As I rested with my back against the ice, I started hearing something. It was different to the sounds of the picks. They were short and sharp. This was a low rumble from the deeper down. On my first break, it was occasional, only a few each minute, but by my second break, it had quickened like a heartbeat. All right, last entry. The captain overheard me telling some others about the sound I heard in the pit. Before I knew it, I was in front of his desk. Sure, I was about to have up my pay dot. To my great surprise, he seemed to know something of it already. He was keen on hearing it described over and over. He wants me to help locate the source of it. When he pressed me on it further, I said that it did seem to be coming from the east. Tomorrow, we are setting off to see if we can find it. Perhaps I shall get a bonus after this is done. I've read them all. Ice shard. An unnatural spire of ice. Stands above scraps of... St see, I, no, I don't want to talk to it yet because I don't have the pickaxe. The ice pick. No, not a tornado. I was looking at my phone. I made a mistake. I regret said mistake. <laughs> now I gotta go get my darn boat repaired. It's almost night. I'm going so slow. I wish there was a repair kit that you could take out on the ocean with you. Chugga 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 choo choo! Alright. Mm. Is this the one where I need to go to? Yes! She says I have holes. I do need it all repaired. Dang. 
Hey, I can go deposit those two parts. Mm. All right, so we got this piece. We got this piece. And we'll probably get the other piece to the west. Or to the east, or whatever. I think it's to the west. Let's look at that map. Let's see what the map of this territory looks like. All right, so I've gone to the east, the central. Now you need to go to this one. It shows that there's an outside way to get in. Let's go try to find that. Let's do a little more exploring. I bet that's it there. What is that? Is that like an ice shark? I want to see. Ugh. Goblin shark? That thing ugly as heck. I wonder how much money that thing's worth, because it is ugly. Ugh, grizzly shark. All right, I'm gonna go sell these sharks. I guess I can't come in through the side. I gotta go through the front. Wait, no. Sleep. Okay, we're gonna go back in and see if we can. You. Gotta go in through this front area. Let's go see if we can find that. Is that aberrated? No, I can't. I don't have time. I need to go find that last piece. Out of tornado! I don't like the sound of the heartbeat. That monster thing sounds nearby. Oh, he is nearby. Can I make it to the dock before he hits me? I did. I made it to the dock before he hits me. He's gone now. But I didn't see an entrance to that side over there. Oh, there's something back here too. In the very back. I gotta find one of these two entrances. Ah, there's a place for me to put fish. There's some fish there. That's the big fish. That must be the goblin shark.
the heartbeat just puts me in panic attack mode. Am I gonna have enough fish? I think I am. Yeah, keep giving me more. This is never ending. I think I got enough. Bro, I can't see where I'm going. Almost got the last piece. I gotta get rid of that goblin shark. I really hope the narwhal thing don't come for me while I'm trying to put fish food here for him. There you go. Come eat. That is not a narwhal. Narwhals don't have horns coming from their heads. It comes from their mouth. That should keep it satisfied. Another big claw. I wonder if this whole entire ice area is just the giant monster. Like, am I going to be able to see its head? Like, is that big mountain there, like, where its head's at or something? You know, because then that would mean this hand is backwards. I don't know. Ugh. Another makeshift camp constructed in the shadow of a frozen clawed hand. Someone was seeking these out. Frozen equipment. There are very few pieces that still remain. However, whoever made camp here was poorly prepared. Inside a small bag, you find a leather bound journal. Which entry do you want to read? The men spent the day digging. They passed up chunks of ice some as brilliant as crystals, others of a deepest blue, more beautiful than sapphires. But none held the glow we had seen in the night. However, I did note a disturbance in the ice to the west. It began as a periodic distant rumble. As the men dug deeper, the pulsing quickened, strengthening until I could see the ice shifting on the surface. I shall inform the captain. It may well be that the narwhal creature we saw earlier, though this did seem much larger. As I write this, I can already feel my eyes closing. I will have to wait until the morning. Which one did I just read? I'm guessing I read the top. This morning, the captain appeared out of the fog, rowing along. Apparently, the boat swam. Boat Swan, Boat Swain, 
remains at the camp in the east, waiting for nightfall. They were unsuccessful in their search, but it does make sense that the lights would be more visible at night. Tomorrow, we're to journey together to the west, towards the shifting ice that I reported. Okay, last one. We're all alone in the small island of ice. After hours of rowing through narrow channels, it rose through the fog, a gargantuan, monstrous claw reaching from the deep. Whatever creature it once belonged to must be long dead as the claw is frozen solid. I wanted to turn back immediately, but the captain insisted we investigate. He is on edge, his head turning this way and that, listening for the slightest sound. He is convinced something will happen in the dark. As the last light from the sun, as the last light from the cold sun fades, I have a sense that it will be a long night. Leave. All right. I'm gonna rest. I'm gonna go take this part back to the merchant, and I'm gonna build my icebreaker. Oh, honey, I'm home. And crashing into the house. Hmm. Hmm. To build the icebreaker, I need these parts. Well, you have these parts. You have all the parts. Huh. That's everything. Let me warm up my hands a little and I'll get started. All right. I think that should do it. The front of your ship can now break through ice. Huh. Go ahead and test it out. I'll be watching from here. All right, y'all, I'm gonna leave this one here. I'm gonna come back later and play some more. Please like the video, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.